Hey guys, I'm Nick and this is my Linux experiment. And in this video I'd like to talk about uh, gaming on Linux. So first of all, gaming on Linux is feasible. There are a lot of games that have been released on Linux. Uh, there are a lot of indie games, humble bundle type games, and a lot of AAA that are maybe one to three years old uh, that have been released. Uh, there are new, uh, new AAA games that have been announced, like for example Rise of the Tomb Raider, that will be released on Linux. So yes, it is feasible. Uh, first thing you have to know about yourself is what kind of gamer you are. So if you like indie games, humble bundle type games, uh, a few aging uh, AAA titles, then you will find that Linux is a great gaming platform. If you like the latest Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, etc., you might want to stick with Windows for your gaming needs. Because those games are not released for Linux and they might work with a little program called Wine that we will talk about later, but it's not a guarantee and, uh, and so you might want to prefer to, to stick uh, with Windows. So, of course, what you can see here is Steam and it's Steam running on Linux. It's the Linux version of Steam because Valve ported it to Linux when they started their Steam OS and Steam Machines project, which is basically a gaming console running Linux. So they ported most of their games, so Half-Life 2, everything source-based is on, uh, is on Linux, Left 4 Dead, etc. But you can see as well that I have the Dawn of War 2 series, Dawn of War 3, XCOM, Total War Warhammer, Stellaris. Uh, I also have uh, older games like Knights of the Old Republic 2, Torchlight 2, but I could also play Payday, uh, Firewatch. Uh, there's a lot of games released on Linux uh, and uh, that are available on Steam. But if that is not enough and that you want your, uh, your uh, Windows games, but well, you can of course install uh, Wine uh, and Steam, uh, the, the Windows version of Steam with Wine. So Wine is a little program uh, that I can show you. Well, I can show you its configuration utility right there. So Wine is a little program that allows uh, Windows programs to run on Linux. So what the developers did is re-implement every DLL, well, every useful DLL from Windows, and map their commands to the equivalent Linux commands. So basically, when a program wants to access a Windows function, it's going to access the Wine DLL, which is going to reroute this command to the Linux equivalent. And so it's not an emulator, you don't get a huge performance drop, you don't have to install a regular signed copy of Windows, because everything is, is included into Wine. And so what you basically do is install Wine, either from your repositories or from the Wine PPA, and then you just double-click on your .exe program and see if it loads, if it installs, and if it runs. Uh, of course, this might be a little bit tedious, so what I'm doing here is running Lutris. Lutris is this little program which is trying to index every single game you have installed on your computer, whereas it's installed from the native Steam version, the native Linux version of Steam, sorry, uh, whereas it is, it is installed with Wine or with uh, Steam running on Wine, but it also indexes browser games, native Linux games, uh, emulation games, and uh, point, all point-and-click games. You can basically try and run everything through this little window that will index everything you have installed and that you want to install in your system. And basically to add a game, either you install it through maybe Steam and then Lutris will detect it automatically. Either you can go to their online library, which I will open there, find the game you want to install and just click, uh, maybe, well, let's see if I want to install the 12 Labors of Hercules. Uh, it's telling me that it is a Wine version or a Steam version. I just click on install and then it's gonna launch the program and start the installer. That's basically what it does. And once it's, it's, once it's installed, it's just gonna show up in this window. Basically, it's gonna download everything and you don't have to do anything except double clicking on the game to launch it. So, that's about it for gaming on Linux. It is really highly feasible and with uh, the combination of Wine, uh, Steam running uh, in Wine and the native Linux Steam version, plus all the native Linux games, you might really find something to, to fit your gaming needs. The second point I'd like to talk to you about is graphics drivers. Well, on Linux, the graphics driver situation is a bit complicated. You have, of course, um, open source drivers that are developed by the Linux kernel maintainers and developers. So they are the native Linux, the native Intel driver, the native NVIDIA driver, which is called Nouveau, and the native ATI driver, which uh, I forget what, uh, what it's called. And they will basically handle every single function of your graphics card, but not with the best performance, except maybe for the Intel driver, which is developed uh, with uh, Intel developers as well. For the NVIDIA and ATI drivers, you want to install their proprietary drivers, which are pretty hit and miss. Uh, the NVIDIA driver is mostly great, but the ATI drivers might be a little bit fucked up. Uh, it depends on the graphics card you have, the rest of your system. 
is gonna be a hit and miss. But I'm running on this computer, uh, I'm sporting a GDX 1050, which is uh, here, but of course it's not the name of the card, it's just the device uh, identifier. And I'm using the NVIDIA proprietary drivers, which comes with its little package here, which allows you to configure it and set your performance, etc. Oops. And that's, uh, and that's about it. So you have to try to know what kind of games you want to play. Just check if they're available on Linux and if they run on Wine to know about Wine and see if a game runs. For example, if I want to know about The Witcher 3, I'm going to type The Witcher 3 Wine app. APPDB, sorry. APPDB, which is the app database for Wine. I'm going to click on the link for the app database. And it's going to tell me that, well, the good old games version is garbage, so basically it doesn't run, but the latest good old games version runs silver, so that means it runs, it runs pretty well. The version of Steam is only rated bronze, so everything here uh, is user tested, so users have been trying those games and they are documenting how well they run. So basically if you go for the latest uh, Game of the Year edition uh, from Google Games, it will run silver, which means it's going to run pretty well with a few minor issues or performance hits. Uh, and that's about that, that's about uh, all you need to know about gaming on Linux, really. So you can install Steam from elementary OS repositories or your other distribution repositories. Uh, you can install Wine from its PPA or from uh, your repositories. And just double click on .exe files, see if they run, and you can also always check beforehand uh, to see if there is any configuration to be done. And if you don't want to mess with the specific Windows settings on each game, you can try through Lutris, which is going to do all the configuration for you for Wine Games. So that's about it. Uh, I hope you will be tempted to try gaming on Linux, and uh, I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.